Hey, Martha? Hey, how are you? Good. How you doing? It's Todd. So, um, I'm good. I, I, I knew it was you calling. Okay. Uh, I, I'm a little tired. I'm exhausted. I'm mentally exhausted. Yeah. But, um, man, I just I have to, first of all, tell you thank you so much for really opening my eyes between the difference between the pro-life movement and uh, your um, organization and I just kind of, I've, it's it's like an awakening moment to me. It really is. Yeah. Because, I mean, I I I know I've, I've always considered myself pro-life, but I've also con- considered myself that life begins, you know, uh, in the moment of conception. Mm. I, I've never, I've never been, you know, one of those to, to think, well, well, but maybe, you know, um, abortion is okay, you know, in the first four weeks the baby doesn't feel anything or anything like that. You know what I mean? Right. And, 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 as, and so <laughs> he's like, I consider myself an abolitionist now. And, um, and I, I had no idea, I mean, about the organizations um, that, that we're donating our money to. And I was telling my friend um, at, at one of the events that we were at, and I said, you know, we re- you really we really need to look into you know where we're putting our money because a lot of these these organizations, as I was informed over the past couple of days, is that they really aren't looking to you know abolish ab- abortion. They're just looking to just regulate it. And so um, she went home and she said, yeah, sure enough, she's um, donating I think a hundred dollars a month to Texas Right to Life. Right. Oh my gosh. Right. And so it's just it's crazy to me. Uh, but I, I really did see a, I, I, I did see a, a, an incredible movement and and and, and uh, a, a huge difference from, you know, the other pro-life groups that, you know, say they're 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 for ending abortion. But, you know, they aren't really there petitioning the way that, you know, you guys were. Yeah. And willing to and willing to put up a fight and 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 stay there as long as it takes, right. uh, um, to 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 be able to have your voices heard. But my question to you was: is how can I better inform a lot of my friends that I that I know that are you know in the pro life movement? Right. Yeah. It's. Uh, I just wanted to say something about you know it. And we met right at the um at the uh, Capitol. Right. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I just want to tell you that um, I really do appreciate you very much. And, you know, when I the when I first started getting involved in abolitionism mm-hmm. and I would get together with all these other abolitionists, I noticed something for the first time in my life. Uh-huh. I noticed the bride of Christ. Like yeah. I had gone to church my whole life and those people that sat in the pews and some of them who fell asleep and stuff. Right. I always thought those people were the bride of Christ and I, but all of a sudden my eyes were open. Like, look at these people. Like mm-hmm. they want to honor God. They want to, they want to, um, you know, they just want to do what's right because it honors God. And right. it just, it was all of a sudden I went by like, wow, this is the bride of Christ, you know? Mm-hmm. And, um, and then what I found out, like you said, was, you know, all these pro-life leaders, don't mm-hmm. want to make abortion illegal, but there's a lot of people who are pro-life that actually want to make it illegal and had no idea that they're just funding and supporting the continuation and regulation of abortion, right. which breaks your heart, you know? <laughs> well, I, okay, so, all right, so now that you're mentioning that and I'm getting teary I you know, sharing this because it, it has broken my heart these past two days that I really, it's almost been like an awakening to me. And I'm like, Oh my God, you know, <laughs> these people are not looking for, to do away with abortion completely. Right. They're not really, they're not really fighting. And, and I felt like, Oh my God, I, have I been wasting my money and have I been wasting my time with these people that in a way I feel like deceived, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I, I have a, a friend and she just became a friend. Once she realized that the pro-life movement, that Texas Right to Life was was not trying to make abortion illegal, and all of a sudden she wanted to know more, and right. now she's like a full-blown abolitionist, and she <laughs> said, she goes, Todd, sometimes I wish I would have never met you because all my friends don't like me now. They're all pro-lifers. <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
<laughs> well, I mean, I I mean, I'll be honest with you. Like, my husband, he's a deputy out in Seguin, and he's noticed that I've been kind of down. He's like, what's wrong? Are you okay? You seem kind of down. And I was like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine, because I really don't really want to go into it with him right now about it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, um, uh, and I will at some point, and and. I just, I, it's just been an awakening to me. It really has. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm very thankful. I think that God has a reason, you know, for things and orchestrating things because um, I had signed up for your guy, you guys' uh, newsletter. Mm-hmm. And, and I, this is another awakening to me is the fact that you guys were the only ones that reached out to me to let me know about the hearing. Otherwise, I probably would not have known right. about the hearing. That's because and, Texas Right to Life and the other Right to Life organizations and, don't and, tell anybody. They right, don't want. They don't. That, they oppose it. And that was just like my my another awakening moment. Like aha! Oh my yeah. god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And yeah. and I'm glad that I signed up for your your newsletter because otherwise I would not be at the Capitol. And, um, and then, uh, I don't know, I just kept thinking to myself, like, I mean, do I, do I need to be there? Or, you know, is there going to be enough people there? And I'm like, something just kept telling me I need to be there. You need to be there. You need to be there. And I'm glad that I was there because, I mean, I've learned so much from you guys and I was inspired and my heart was just touched by everybody that I met. Mm -hmm. And my heart was just completely touched with this movement that God's, God's, you know, guiding and, mm-hmm. and protect and protecting. And I've never, I mean, surely the, the times that I've gone into the Capitol to testify on certain things, I've never seen such a movement that really displaced God like this movement. Right. And that's the kind of movement that I want to be a part of, because one of the things that I've always, you know, wondered is, why are the why is the church not speaking out against this right. and and to me it's like you're just as guilty if right. you're not if you're not standing up for right. for those that can't speak for themselves and you're just remaining silent and I, I can't remember which 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 scripture it is at the moment but i have it written down but um you know there's the scripture that talks about that we're going to on judgment day we're going to have to give god our our, our account and right. I, I don't i don't want to be the one to say that i remain silent right. on this issue and and i'm emotional about it because i literally have put my career on hold for this but at the same time i feel like this is where god wants me to be at like i i mean i don't even have an interest in my career right now at all i tried i tried a couple of weeks ago to get back in it but i'm like oh my god i don't even have the interest in and passion in this any longer you know uh, yeah i understand I, I run my own business and you know i uh you know I, I care for the needs of my business because i i have to feed my family but right you know my heart is like just being obedient to the word of god and right, right. god lifts you up and also supports you you know right and gives you well, joy he- you know so that here's here's how you can help Okay. okay. Um, you know, make sure you follow what a, a, a abolish abortion Texas is doing. If yeah, instead I, of I, giving that hundred bucks a month, you know, to Texas Right to Life, even if you give five bucks a month to um, you know, abolish abortion Texas, because that really helps um, with all the stuff that they have going on, right? And right, uh, right. Wesley and Bradley, I mean, they just pay for everything themselves, you know, and. And so anyway, that that's a big help. And then, you know, putting stuff on Facebook. Well, you know and, how and you know you're a real abolitionist is when how? somebody tells you that they're pro-life and you say, oh, yeah, you got to repent of that. You know, because, like, yeah. you know, the pro-life movement only regulates abortion. That's yeah. all they've ever tried to do. And then but like people who you could tell are fake abolitionist is when they say, oh, I'm I'm an abolitionist, but I'm OK with, you know, like pro-life bills you know because the pro-life movement actually opposes making abortion illegal so you 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 know they they are the the, they are the real enemy not not the pro-choicers like look how many pro-choicers showed up against us like you know none 
But yeah, look like who's in control, the pro-lifers. Four, yeah, four, four or five showed up. Yeah, and all the Republicans there, almost all of them are, are pro-life. Yeah. You know, five of them. Like, they could actually make abortion illegal right now if Governor they Abbott could. wanted to. Don't even get me started with him because now, I mean, yeah. I've, I've seen that he's, he's not really, you know, the first day when he's speaking on, on all the legislation for the year, he didn't even mention it. Yeah, I know. And, he, and that a, was super disappointing. Yeah, he's a super liberal. When did, when was the point when you realized that, you know, you, you want to be an abolitionist and the pro-life movement opposed abolition? <laughs> After you gave me um, some education on it. <laughs> okay. And, yeah. and then I started thinking a lot. And then uh, I started thinking to myself, like, you know what? He's right. Where are all these other organizations that say they stand to protect the unborn. Where's Texas values? Where's uh, Texas right to life? Where are all these other organizations that um, campaign and, and all, all they do is just ask for our money? I mean, where are they if they really truly wanted to end abortion completely? Right. Then wouldn't they be there? Wouldn't they stick it out? Like the mothers that I saw there waiting with their little ones I, I mean, I got so emotional, like leaving the the capital. I did yeah. because I'm like, man, these 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 ladies are are committed, and like I'm committed because, I mean, I came back. I was like, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go get my kids from school, and I'm gonna come back. Yeah. And I got my kids situated, and um, my husband didn't understand it. I said, I gotta go back to the capital, and he's like, Martha, do you really have to do that? I said, yes. I do have to do that. And we got into a little argument over it because <laughs> I'm like, you have no idea. You have no idea. Um, it's uh, it's what's going just on? in my heart. It, yeah. You have no idea what's going on and it's in my heart. And I just feel like this is what I have to do. And, and you know what, you know why it's not because we're trying to save babies. It's because there's yeah. a God. Right. And that's why we got to honor yeah. God. And this is one area right. where we, we are very much dishonoring God. And that's why people are so committed, right? Um, because they're going to be obedient to God. Every day there's people that are like, scales are getting pulled from their eyes and they're realizing that, hey, you know, these abolitionists are right. You know, I thought you guys were a bunch of bullies, but you guys are just nice people and you're you're actually like, you care, you know? Oh, I met some uh, of the most beautiful, beautiful people that day that, I mean, I'm never going to forget this. I'll never forget that day as long as I live. It was just incredible to see so many people there and and um, just seeing the moms there with their little ones. Some moms were nursing moms and they stuck it out. They stayed there till 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh my gosh, I know. I I, I was just, I, I, my heart hurt for that, those mothers because they were there with their, their little ones. One of my buddies, um, I was telling him about it because I went to um, the meeting today, that the luncheon that they had, and he was broken hearted. He was broken hearted that he wasn't at the Capitol. He's like, how come I didn't know about it? How come any, yeah. and you know, none of these organizations, um, you know, sent me um, uh, an email. And so yeah. I, didn't, I didn't want to talk, tell him right then and there, but I'm like, <laughs> I, was like, I was almost like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He needs awakening too. But I said, yeah. Brian, I'm gonna call you later and um <laughs> and, 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 and maybe we can talk about it. But I didn't yeah. I didn't get any emails, but I you know who I did get an email from? I got an email from the abolish abortion Texas. They're the mm -hmm. ones that sent me the email. That's how I knew about the hearing and that's why I was there. There's abolitionists all over the country right now that are rising up and people are repenting. That's, you know, that's the neat thing about God is that you yeah. could be pro-life, an incrementalist. Mm -hmm. You could be a regulationist. You could be part yeah. of the reason abortion stayed around forever. And mm -hmm. then you can repent and God forgives you and restores you and like makes you part of his plan. Right. I mean, yeah. but a lot of people are not guilty because they don't know. They thought right. they were working to make it illegal. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's me that's me i thought yeah. i was working to make it illegal and all this time i'm like god yeah i feel like i i wasted so much time on these you know i'm gonna call them stupid organizations yeah that, that are just you know fraudulent in my eyes now yeah like i said I'm, i was donating money my friend lucy was donating money 
and I immediately sent her to your website and she already got, you know, subscribed to your, she signed the petition where you should start getting the emails now. And so, um, I'm telling you, you found a soldier in me because I'm, I'm, I'm ready to take this on. Awesome. Well, it was good talking to you. Thank you so <laughs> good much. Good talking to you. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye.